When calculating an interval estimate for a population proportion, we use the formula p hat minus z alpha over 2 times the square root of the quantity p hat times q hat divided by n less than p less than p hat plus z alpha over 2 times the square root of the quantity p hat times q hat divided by n. And in this formula, z alpha over 2 times the square root of the quantity p hat times q hat divided by n is the margin of error, which we can label as big E. N, or the sample size, is important in statistics. And we can do some math and set this formula equal to N, in which we get N equals P hat times Q hat times the quantity Z alpha over 2 divided by big E squared. And in this formula, N equals the sample size, P hat is equal to the proportion of a sample, for example, 78% of dogs bark when the doorbell rings. So in this case, P hat would be equal to 0.78. Q hat is equal to 1 minus P hat, so in our dog example, Q hat would be equal to 1 minus 0.78, which is 0.22. Z alpha over 2 is a Z score based on the confidence level we're using, which is usually 90%, 95%, or 99%. And I have the Z values listed for those percentages. And big E is the margin of error. And now we have a formula that tells us the minimum sample size needed for a desired margin of error. Two quick notes. If a value of p hat is known, say from a previous study, that value can be used. And if no approximation of p hat is known, you should use p hat equal to 0.5, as this gives the largest possible value for p hat times q hat, which gives the largest possible value for n. Now for an example. Let's say that you want to estimate, with 90% confidence, the proportion of people that get married outdoors. A previous study showed that 18% of people had outdoor weddings. And let's say that you want to be accurate within 3% of the true proportion. What's the minimum sample size necessary? Using our formula, p hat equals 0.18, or 18%, the point estimate for the proportion, q hat equals 1 minus p hat, so 1 minus 0.18, which is 0.82, e, the margin of error, is 3%, or 0.03, how accurate we want to be, and z alpha over 2 for 90% is 1.645. Now we can do some fun mathematical calculations, and we get 443.79, rounding up to 444 as the sample size needed. Now let's say same question, but we're going to assume there was no previous study done, so what's the minimum sample size needed? Again, using our formula, the values for p hat and q hat are going to change to 0.5 for each. Again, fun calculations, and we get 752 as the sample size. All right, my friends, that be the basics on finding the minimum sample size for an interval estimate for a population proportion. Hopefully this video helped you out. I do have more videos right there for you. Till next time, I am out of here.